Hi, I think we should ba outright ban emoji in the organic language channel. So you're confused. That's a bit disappointing, but that's okay. Our school server has a channel with a social experiment to naturally create a language. And so we banned English and we try not to have any influences from any existing languages. So let's see how that went. Um, so when we first started, the, and after we clarified like the purpose of the channel to the server folk, um, people started to speak in emoji. Um, so you can try guessing what these mean. Using emoji is kind of boring though because it's been done in the past for making the language and we're not creating anything new. So we banned emoji. But isn't Chinese like that? Sure, they are logogram they do use logograms derived from like simplified drawings, but emoji and emoji are kind of like Chinese characters in that sense. But if we did want to make our something like Chinese characters, we should have drawn our own instead of just using whatever uh, Twitter drew for the emoji. So let's see how the emoji pen went. Seems pretty good. You're seeing an early version of FEC here. That's the name of the resulting language. Except there were a lot of numbers early on. And the issue with numbers and emoji is that you don't know how to pronounce it. It's like, ooh? I don't know, you try. So, Admittedly, this language was developed in a Discord text channel, so you would it would make sense for the language to only have a writing system and no phonology, which I guess would make it a more unique conlang. But it would still be interesting one day to have like an organic language based in like sound. So let's just skip ahead to the decline effect. Everything needs to come to an end. Um, so when we introduce a new word into FEC, um, it's usually helpful to show like a picture or an object. Um, and but since we're in a Discord text channel, it's kind of hard to describe like abstractly with so few words in the language what something is. So in most human languages, I'm pretty sure they developed a lot of words by just pointing at something and just naming it. So like you can point at your own head and call it empty. Um, so here, you're seeing what in fact we call um, so you can try guessing what that means. So of course, different people might interpret like photos or objects differently. So you might point to a banana and mean it mean to um, point to a banana and mean like a fruit in general. But someone else might think that you're pointing. You mean uh, bananas specifically. So th to me, this kind of makes organic languages more fun, more interesting, kind of like a mind game, because everyone has their own specific interpretation of what words mean. And this also allows the language to evolve the words and extend or specialize their meaning. Um, but looky looky here, do you see a problem? It's English, and that destroys every possible alternative um, meaning, alternative interpretation of words. So we can hide that label by putting a backslash before and Discord, and that makes it show as a native character. Um, so that, like when you hover over, it doesn't show like the name. But still, people will know the name. Like, look at this one here. Do you know what it's called? It's like shiver, bearing teeth, fear. Nope, it's called grimacing for some reason. So, um, so backslashing like an emoji to hide its label isn't enough because people will still know what the emoji name is. And also, like emojis aren't really used for actual expressing actual emotions because we already have like the text versions, the emoticons. And since the emojis tend to be overused by and also and thus um, associated with the technologically illiterate. And if we want to illustrate like a new word, we could just use Google Images or something similar. And that way we can also like draw on them. And that gives us a greater selection of images to use. 